As a child, I was always uh, very curious and thinking about many phenomena of nature. The neuroscience aspects of science was uh, something that I saw as uh, the next frontier. Really understanding the human brain would be to understand the tissue that allow us to comprehend the entire world. So to me, understanding how the human cortex is formed would be something of interest. But I actually was in Brazil and uh, we did not have ways for me to follow that career pathway. So it was only when I moved as a postdoc to US that I was in the right environment to answer those questions. One way to study the social brain is to look for instances where the social brain fails. I start thinking about autism because I want to understand what makes us unique from the social aspect. So my lab has been putting lots of efforts on creating a brain organoid who actually have a functional network that evolves as the human brain does. A brain organoid is a structure that's composed uh, by different cell types. So it's a tool that has been helping us to understand the normal development but also, since we can generate brain organoids from people with autism, we can use them to compare and contrast uh, what's different between them. And uh, once you find what's different, perhaps you can uh, use it to find better treatment, for example. Everybody's very curious about the robot, <laughs> and it's great. The main goal of the organoid robotic platform is to create a learning feedback loop. By creating this feedback loop, we can repeat the same experiments with organoids derived from people with autism or people who have a difficulty learning a new task, so we can understand better what the neuro and molecular mechanisms implicated on the learning disability. I met my wife through my work. Her son has autism, and now he's my son. This is Ivan, and uh, he has a type of autism that's probably towards the more severe type. He's non-verbal, has difficulties in communication, and he struggles in his life. I hear many stories of how autism makes families separated or break apart. In our case, autism brings us together. I think in the beginning I had a very academic perspective of my work through autism. Uh, but after meeting Ivan and living with him, the goals and my motivation has dramatically changed. I way more focusing on having him becoming independent in a better life. And I think if I fight for my son to have that potential, I'll be helping lots of other people with autism.